For the next couple of days, President Biden will be in Europe, meeting with those key allies who've also been supporting Ukraine. And they'll be discussing next steps as this war enters into its second year. President Biden traveled by train to Poland from Kyiv, where his surprise visit was punctuated by air raid sirens that were a sharp reminder of why he made the trip to Ukraine. I'm here to show our unwavering support for the nation's independence. Now in Warsaw to meet with the Polish president and other NATO leaders, President Biden is hoping to solidify Western support for Ukraine as the country marks one year since Russia invaded. Putin thought Ukraine was weak and the West was divided, and he's counting on us not sticking together. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky credits President Biden for leading the global aid effort and says that ongoing unity is critical. To have success in this war, to make Ukraine more stronger, and how to win this year. And the U.S. is continuing to roll out assistance, announcing a new half-billion-dollar package, including missiles and tanks, with much of Congress saying they're still in favor of doing whatever it takes to help Ukraine. They're fighting for our values, and I'm happy to be on their side. And President Biden promises support from the U.S. will remain strong. Freedom is priceless. It's worth fighting for for as long as it takes. And on Wednesday, President Biden is scheduled to sit down with the leaders of what's known as the Bucharest Nine, which is a group of the eastern members of NATO. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.